Williams were on the verge of scoring their first point this year at Emola, but their dreams left shattered as George Russell indulged in a huge crash with Valtteri Bottas. Soon after the race, George, Valtteri and Toto Wolff has opened up about the incident. George Russell began explaining, Between all the drivers we have had this gentleman's agreement, where if there is a fast car approaching with the DRS, you don't jolt the steering wheel at the very last moment. I got the slipstream, and just as I pulled out, Valtteri moved very slightly and that just put me off the line, and put me onto the wet stuff. We were going incredibly fast. We know the conditions. A P9 for him is nothing, but for us, it's everything. I am going for absolutely everything. The move would have been absolutely easy. Later, he also claimed that Bottas must have behaved differently with other drivers. He began explaining, if you are fighting for a victory on the last lap of the race, maybe, but in conditions like this and not when you are fighting for P9. It begs the question why he would do that for a P9. And perhaps if it was another driver, he wouldn't have. Like I said, he is not fully to blame and I am not fully to blame. But it could have been avoided. I think this is a good example for the stewards that minor movements like this will create crashes. And here we are. Later, Bottas also responded on the incident. George got close and decided to go for a move. Obviously, the track is quite narrow and there is only one dry line and he went from the outside. There was space all the time for two cars, but it didn't make any sense that move. He obviously lost it and hit me. It was clearly his fault and I don't understand the rage. Team principal of Mercedes, Stotterwolf, has also responded on the incident. I said, if he does a good job, he can be in a Mercedes. If not, we were doing the Renault Clio Cup. And today, we are more close to the Renault Clio Cup. Miami Grand Prix to join F1 calendar in 2022. The circuit itself will be 5.4 km and will feature 19 corners, 3 straights and potential for the 3 DRS zones, with an estimated top speed of 320 km per hour. Hamilton picks Vettel rivalry as favourite of his F1 career. He was asked about his favourite rivalry in F1 history. He picked mine and Seb's battles, calling them my favourite up to now. Leclerc calls P3 in constructor reachable for Ferrari in 2021. I think a realistic goal for this year will be to be just behind Red Bull and Mercedes. Realistically, I think it's going to be very difficult to fight with them. We are too far behind for now, but we are in the fight with four, five other teams for the third place in the constructors. So it's going to be a tight fight, but if we do everything perfect, I think it's reachable. Hey guys, if you have enjoyed this video, please feel free to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.